Hi there guys, it's Chrissy with SelfMadeNewbie.com and welcome to this Insta Wrapper review. So here it says, make up to 500% more sales from your old videos by applying a magic fix known only to top marketers and influencers. Sounds interesting. Today we're going to take a deep dive to see what it's all about. So before we do, drop a like, subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time. Also, if at any moment you just want to click off this video, first go in the description next to the green check mark and that will fast forward you. So part of the video, I think one or two of you out there might like. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like when you first log in to Instawrapper. And we're gonna go through this demo video here and see exactly what this fix is that we don't know and only marketers and influencers don't know. So what I know so far is that it's gonna wrap up your video in some form uh, to get you 500% uh, more views. So. I also want to know where the traffic element is coming from. How are you going to get free traffic just by changing a video? So once you log in, the dashboard looks like this. Very simple um, dashboard. Uh, and it gives you recommended resolutions. Um, I would just go with whatever social media platform you plan to post on and find out those resolutions. And it's just a really a two or three step process. So here it says drop your files. So you would choose a file and uh, add it to here and it will upload it um, to Instawrapper. Um, if you go to your video library or my videos, you know, the videos that, that you upload, they'll show up. And then you click this button here that says create wrapper or obviously you can delete it if you don't wanna use it. So the first thing you will see then is there are a bunch of templates. So if you've been on Instagram, you've seen videos like this before where the video is kind of in the middle and then it has text around it. And the way I think this format came about is because people were posting long form long form content on uh, YouTube and it was kind of this uh, resolution or like this rectangle, right? But then Instagram was a square. So they wanted to repurpose that content on Instagram. So they needed something for the edges. So you essentially then get all these titles. People started putting like captions down here and things like that. So this is essentially what Instarapit is gonna do. Now, this is a little bit late to the table in my opinion. There are a lot of free programs out there, both on the Apple Store and on the Google Play Store. I actually use InShot, which is free. You can get that on the um, App Store. Um, but just any video editor, you can really just put this background on. I think you can probably even do it in Canva at this point, and they just added their video editing kind of option. So by late to the party, I mean, I mean, you know, there are a lot of free options to do this, but let's see what else they can offer as far as traffic, etc., goes. So here you can see it actually kind of looks like a Canva uh, a little bit. You have your text images down the side, but like a simplified version of Canva, and then you have your different text. You can edit the elements here, and you can see that uh, our friend here has created, you know, put a yellow background over his video with some text um, to create that square shape. Uh, you can also add captions here. Now captions are a little bit harder to add. Um, here he's uploading his SRT, so he's done the captions in here. Um, and then he's like adding them to the video. So here it's gonna kind of auto generate. Um, here you can do generate captions and then you might have to edit it, you know, because um, speech to text is not completely accurate. The technology is not quite there yet. So you often need to, you know, edit, but that's fine. You can come through, you can edit what you're actually saying. It's gonna get it about 80, 85% correct anyway. Uh, this you can also do for free. Uh, there's also a platform called Clydeo. Uh, let me just show you that. Uh, if I want subtitles, I just come here, Clydeo.com, and you can do the same thing for free, okay? so. Most video editing, basic video editing, where you're like changing the the um, the sizing and also adding captions and adding titles and stuff, you know, there are tons of apps for free uh, that you can use. So here he's adding a progress bar, which is a little bit more difficult to do. I don't find that they're completely necessary. I saw a surge of them like a couple of years ago, everybody started using them. Now I see people don't really bother with them anymore. So. It's kind of like a nice to have, but not really needed. You can also Google how to add a progress bar to a video. And again, you know, this is not something I'd be paying money for, to be honest. So here he's adding the progress bar and you can see, it's just to tell people when the video is gonna end. Uh, I see people using this a lot less and less. You can also do a timer here. I guess this is quite unique. Um, 
I haven't seen people use timers before, but obviously when you're looking at a video on like Instagram or something, there's like a timer in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see, you know, when it's gonna end anyway. But if you wanted to stylize that, you know, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, here you can add shapes, emojis, images, um, and then essentially you download your video. This is a web app, so you'd have to, I guess, download it maybe to Dropbox, put it on your phone, upload it from your phone on certain platforms. And that might take, you know, a bit of time. I prefer if I'm gonna do stuff on my phone, I want it like on my phone. So essentially what I've seen there is a basic video editor uh, doing a lot of things that you can just do for free on, you know, Canva, InShot, uh, or if you Google, you know, video editor, there are free editors out there that you can do that. Um, so here it says make up to 500% more sales. So this is a basic video editor and, and a lot of products that come out, you know, on platforms like JVZoom, Warrior Plus, they always try to put this money spin on it. What we've got here is a video editor. It doesn't really have anything to do with money um, and sales um, because it's not directly influencing your sales. It might get you a few more views from the audience that you have, um, but you know, it's nothing that you can't just do, like if you're doing a TikTok video, you can do tons of stuff like that in TikTok. Uh, and now you can do captions on Reels on Instagram for free. Um, so for me, this is not something I'd really wanna pay for or feel I have to pay for. Um, here, there's some bit of playing a bit of contrast bias on you. Seven likes normally, 80 likes using their platform. And this is not a good example. Um, if they would have shown TikTok examples, then we might have, you know, they might have had a case there because there's organic traffic on TikTok. But on Facebook, the fact that you got seven here and fifth or 80 here, um, first, we don't know if they really used InstaWrapper, but also on Facebook, there is no organic free traffic. Okay, so the fact that he's saying he got 19 here and 73 here, seven here, 80 here, it's not because of the video, you know, his audience, you, it's based on your audience. We also don't know what these videos are because, you know, this is an Asus video and this is a video of a sandwich. So they're completely different videos. So this contrast bias, it's not really valid. We also don't know how many followers each page has. Okay, so, you know, I don't really trust these examples at all, really. Moving on here, we have like these amounts of people being added to email lists based purely on the video. I don't understand why people take a video editor and turn it into like this super money maker product when it's not. I think it's because the audience that buys this kind of thing is kind of gullible. So, you know, has shiny object syndrome. Um, so they kind of put that money spin on it just to really make more sales. But I don't see this really helping you to make money because I'm just not seeing the connection there. Um, here they're claiming you can sell this service on Fiverr or whatnot. I wouldn't bother with that. You get way too much competition of real video editors. And yeah, that's, uh, that's really my thoughts on this. I personally wouldn't pay for this. I don't believe this can do anything that I can't get and do for free much quicker. And the pricing, you know, a real red flag for me as well. Uh, because it said buy one time, um, but there's actually a huge sales funnel here, right? So I think you get Instarapper Elite. I think this is the front end. And then there's all these other upsells. So after you buy the original one, your money will go through. And then after you think you've bought this program that is now yours, it turns out you can't even use it as much as you want. You can only create a hundred videos. So they've arbitrarily put this block on there or they've gotten their developer to put this block on there to make it so that you can only do unlimited videos after you get like two upsells. So they haven't really put any pricing on here, but I guess you'll be able to find this out uh, later on. But I'm gonna, just based on my experience, I would say this is gonna be about 17 to 20. I'd say this is gonna be about 37 to 47. I'd say this will be another 37 or 47, possibly 67. So in order to, you know, unlock it to an unlimited amount, you're not paying this one time $19 or whatever it was. You're like paying upwards of $100, okay? They've purposely locked it on these, up, on these um, simple versions just to upsell you uh, to, 
to do unlimited. Okay, this works on the commitment consistency bias of the brain that says you like momentum. If you say yes to one thing, you're more likely to keep saying yes, you're more likely to keep paying money. And this kind of long ass funnel is just created to extract as much money out of you as possible, which makes me think that this is a little bit scammy, uh, a little bit of a shiny object and something just even based on these funnels alone, I just always feel like I'm being tricked and it just rubs me the wrong way. And the fact that I can see the funnel now and show you it, this alone um, would make me not buy it. Okay, I just don't trust that at all. I'd avoid this personally, obviously, you know, make your own decisions. Uh, now, I think some of you out there don't have shiny object syndrome. You're probably just marketed to a lot with these kind of products. Maybe you're kind of, you have shiny object syndrome. You're kind of addicted to just buying stuff, thinking it's gonna help you. You get a bit of a dopamine kick. Um, and some of you out there may be tired of doing that. You wanna do something that works. You're willing to put in a bit of effort and start a business that actually works. If that's you, click the link in the description. That will take you through to another page uh, where I, I explain to you my Silver Spoon program step-by-step. Step. This is a program that works. Then this is a program that you can get started on right now for free and also join the community uh, for free. Currently up to about 125 members so you can jump in there, ask any questions as well. And yeah, if you found value in this video, guys, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in there, in the community. Take care.